Hey, what up, everybody? Stevie Breeze coming to you. Uh, yesterday, I got a chance to make a video with uh, Mr. Jess Ray. It was an interview-style uh, video where he talked about um, just wrestling, this, that, and the other. So uh, I thought the uh, interview turned out real well. So uh, make sure you go uh, check out Ray on uh, YouTube. It is Mr. Jess Ray. And um, all in all, yesterday, my buddy Freaking 88 uh, he finally got partnered on his account. He's been the one guy that, honestly... I've uh, watched almost longer than anybody else on here. He is uh, uh, he has some of the best opinions uh, on wrestling that are on here, and uh, he's one of my uh, best friends in YouTube land. So uh, congratulations to freaking A88. Uh, yesterday, finally got a chance to pay my credit card. As I was going paying the credit card, I looked over it one more time, and I noticed something that uh, honestly freaking A88 was gonna make a video on when we were Atlanta, but I guess he just never got to it and uh, I, I just reminded like how mad I got at this whole situation and so um, I just wanted to break it down to you basically we went to Atlanta we bought tickets for the uh, the wrestling hall of fame to see Shawn Michaels um, we, we you know we, we bought them probably November to December whenever they went on sale we, we, we bought them the first day and I, I remember I was the one who bought them and everybody paid me back so I remember looking at all the terms and conditions and they normally uh, put something on there, but there was nothing on there. And then uh, we we get all the way to Atlanta. It's Saturday night. We're we're hanging out at the Ring of Honor show. Uh, it was a nighttime show, and uh, it's about halfway through. And Rated Our Dynasty um, tweets us this story on a link that happened to be on April Fool's Day, and it, it says that they've changed the uh, fan um, dress code uh, to a business casual event. And basically, if you don't uh, dress up for the Hall of Fame the next day, you ain't getting in. So, I, at first, I didn't want to believe it, and then I finally got the email myself. I don't know why I got it later than everybody else, or somehow the news sites got it, and he just saw it and decided to hook me up with it. But, but basically, we had to go from Ring on, or we left there. We wouldn't get something to eat at, at Waffle House, because basically, we were only eating one meal a day. It was uh, Freaking 88, Luke Cage, um, Billy Paz, and Assault and Battery, and I. And, and so... We had to go out, and you know, I know you guys have seen this in, in the video from WrestleMania. We went to Walmart at, at 3 a.m. in the morning. We, we, we went there. It, it was just dumb. I don't know what people did who bought the package. Um, you know, Luke Cage was smart. He uh, actually brought clothes to dress up in. I don't know if he was already planning on wearing that stuff or if he just had, had foreseen this was coming. But basically, when we bought the tickets, they didn't say anything. I'd, I've seen... Hall of Fames on TV and DVD from the years in the, uh, in the past, and basically wrestling fans just wear wrestling shirts. Yes, the wrestlers do, um, you know, they, they do dress up in, in, in a black tie event, but they've never made, uh, you know, the, the normal fans do it. And, and they said if, if you didn't do it, you weren't going to get let in. So it's basically like, you know, they had us. There's nothing. There's nothing we can do. We had to buy into the hype, or we were gonna get screwed. Who would want, you know, to pay this money to go to a Hall of Fame event, which is probably like seventy-five bucks, I think, or something like that, because we we had floor seats for it, which is pretty cool. We sat right behind where all the uh, actually all the referees were right in front of us, and then I get I get to meet uh, Mr. Perfect Stat, who was, who was up there on the side. Um, and then, uh, actually, if you were sitting on the on the other side of the floor, is where they had a lot of the producers sit, like uh, uh, Michael Hayes and, and stuff like that. So, actually, they had so many superstars and and set and, and uh, legends and so on and so forth there that it spilled out of the the floor section into the regular you know you know peons like us. Um, but basically, we had to go to Walmart. We had to buy shirts um, just to dress up, just because we didn't want to get in there. Then we show up to the event. And and no one's in dress code but, but us, and they and they're letting everybody in. I don't know why the WWE would go to the extent to make them and Ticketmaster email us, you know, to tell us that we have to dress up, or we can't talk, uh, we can't do this, we can't do that. And then basically we get to the event, and um, you know people are are talking the whole time. They're they're chanting out stuff at the wrestlers, you know, during their Hall of Fame speeches. When honestly, most people just wanted them to shut up. We just wanted to hear the wrestlers give their speeches, which actually meant a lot more than I thought they were going to when we got there. I thought it was just sort of like, you know, they bring them out, they give a small speech, and that's it. But it actually gets, I don't know, I'm not really too stupid or something, but it gets sort of emotional in there, and it actually is a really, really cool moment. And when people are chanting at Sean and stuff like that during it, and, and making him 
lose his train of thought, uh, a train of thought. You can actually see that Sean's getting sort of upset at this because he comes out and he tells everybody that he's going off the top of his head, doesn't know what he's going to say. So I don't know. Uh, I, I think that they should, you know, tell you the, the, the terms and conditions when you get there and either stick to them or don't stick to them at all. If I remember right, when we were at the Hall of Fame, the, I don't know, she wasn't security, but, the, you know, the person that was there, the usher or whatever, I don't think she ever seen a digital camera before because it was fine for us to take pictures, but it wasn't fine for us to take videos. And if you had a digital camera, which almost everybody has now, and you held it up, then, you know, it shows like it's taking a video until you take the picture so you can see what you're filming. And I don't know, this lady kept telling everybody and warning everybody that if, she, if, she, if, she, if we took more video that you were going to have to take your memory cards out and erase them. But I don't know. I thought everybody had seen a digital camera, but maybe this lady hadn't seen one. But all in all, I just wish that they would have uh, not sent out that warning uh, to the people and maybe spend an extra 25 bucks on a shirt at Walmart. And, uh, you know, just let wrestling fans be wrestling fans. Uh, you go in there and have a good time with these wrestlers. So, screw you.